Kia ora, I'm Mary Jo, Kiwi Bank Economist. So New Zealand now has over 200 COVID community cases, which are of the Delta variant. The Auckland cluster continues to grow, a few cases have popped up in the Wellington region, and there are now locations of interest in the Upper North Island. It's still early days and we're yet to see a peak in cases. The swift move into lockdown should hopefully limit the outbreak, but it would seem prudent to gear up for a longer lockdown, especially for Auckland. Now the good news is, we're entering this lockdown on a much firmer economic footing. Prior to this lockdown, economic output had actually returned to pre-COVID levels and we're back at full employment. We're also entering this lockdown with much more confidence. We've been here before. Businesses have adapted and have moved to online and the need to work from home is no longer a foreign concept. So we're not quite in unprecedented times anymore. Now we also know that economic activity by and large will flatline during this lockdown period, with the hospitality sector certainly the most adversely affected. Estimates range between one and one and a half billion loss of economic output each week under alert level four lockdown. And we're already seeing signs of this inactivity come through in our spending data. Practically every category has seen a significant drop in spend levels. But we also know from previous experience that demand in the economy doesn't just disappear, it's simply deferred. As soon as the restrictions are relaxed and we move down the alert levels, uh, more businesses will be allowed to operate, so economic activity will rebound and spending will catch up. If the lockdown is kept relatively brief, then the net impact to the economy should be relatively limited. Now, of course, fiscal policy is essential to address the immediate disruption to the economy. We saw last year just how effective fiscal policy was in insulating the economy. So it's good to see policies like the wage subsidy scheme be available once again. We know that fiscal policy is the best policy in times like this. That's it for me this week. Uh, keep safe and I'll talk to you in the next one.